fellow Americans, I'm making Juneteenth a holiday so all of you colored folks can go out there and celebrate your freedom by going out and spending your money with these white and non-black owned businesses that discriminate and oppress you every day. Don't you just love ironic comedy? Ah! So when are you going to have that meeting with Ice Cube? When the hell freezes over? Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess. The Goddess Next Door takes on the threat of a deadly digital diva driven to destroy the world in this action-packed, all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess featuring a bonus pin-up and the other two books in the Cyber Goddess saga at online booksellers everywhere today. President Joe Biden signed a bill into law making Juneteenth a holiday. Now, Juneteenth is supposed to celebrate June 19th, 1865, the day where Union Major General Gordon Granger announced the end of slavery in Galveston, Texas. Now, the great irony as related to Joe Biden declaring Juneteenth a holiday is it shows how slave-minded many of these black Americans actually are because the celebration of Juneteenth as a holiday shows how politically ignorant many of these black Americans are as related to this whole political process. Now, many of these black people, especially these old civil rights leaders, believe that they have gone out here and achieved something by making Juneteenth a holiday. But I don't believe your black Americans got anything more than an empty symbolic gesture that means absolutely nothing. Now, most of your black Americans went out here in the largest numbers and made your Joe Biden the president of these United States. And in exchange for their vote, your Joe Biden, instead of giving black people tangibles and making black people a priority and putting them first at the head of the line, no, what he does is he goes out here and tells black people to their faces there he's not going to do anything for them and then he goes out here and puts a voting block of people Asians who didn't even vote for him and give them legislation like the anti-Asian hate crime law which is actually crime bill 2.0 designed to target black Americans for alleged hate crimes and then he goes out here and gives non-citizens, illegal immigrants, um, fin financing and support. And these people aren't even citizens of the country and can't even vote, but they get tangibles. And all black people get is a holiday, which actually shows how, uh, how much of a slave they still truly are. Because this whole Juneteenth holiday, all it does is show how many of our black people are still slave-minded because they're sitting here celebrating getting a day off. Meanwhile, other groups are getting tangibles in exchange for their votes. And what's really embarrassing is your black people went out here in the largest numbers to go out here and vote for Joe Biden. And this is the slap in the face he gives us because this whole Juneteenth holiday is going to be something that will be commercialized and marketed towards your black people. And instead of black people going out here and empowering themselves, they're going to go out here and enrich their oppressor by going out when they go out here and advertise things like Juneteenth sales. And we're going to see all of these slave-minded black folks running down with their 3.3 trillion in spending power down to your retailers to go out here and celebrate Juneteenth by spending money with the same businesses that oppress and discriminate against them. A Hollywood screenwriter couldn't come up with comedy this dark, but here we are when it comes down to your black people. And I have to say, many of these civil rights leaders they're Arkham certified when I look at this whole situation because when I'm sitting there watching this whole Joe Biden signing this law, they look just like a bunch of slaves on the plantation and they cannot even see 
how they're doing the exact same thing that their ancestors did and expecting a different result. And that's the definition of insanity, but that's what we see right here with this celebration of your Juneteenth as a holiday. A group of Arkham certified black leaders acting like they've accomplished something when all they're getting is the same amount of nothing repackaged for them by a paternalistic president who basically comes across like an old slave master and they're celebrating getting a day off from working in the fields and instead of going out to go work in the fields with their jobs no they're going to go out here and go shopping at the slave master's businesses and give him his own money back if that's not our arkham certified insane behavior that's i don't know what is but that's what we have here with your black folks as related to this whole juneteenth being made a holiday we have a group of arkham certified black civil rights leaders acting like they've accomplished something but at the end of the day they got nothing tangible in exchange for all of these black folks going out in force to take out the evil orange man so they're sitting there celebrating getting juneteenth being made into a holiday an empty symbolic gesture meanwhile even though this congress has both houses as a majority they can't get a bill to pass as related to getting this george floyd police reform law passed and this is, again is with them having both the house and the senate in a majority they can't get you any sort of tangible legislation meanwhile your asians who did not even in some cases vote in the election and many voted for president trump they went out here and they got an anti-asian hate crime law and your non-citizens from south america they're getting all sorts of support economically tangible but the black people they joe biden comes to you with this juneteenth as a holiday and you're supposed to be happy about it well i'm not happy about it and i look at all of these black leaders and i see how they are just leading us to nowhere and they're leading us to nowhere because they sit there and again think oh i got this empty symbolic gesture and i'm not getting anything in return for my vote like laws to punish these rogue police officers laws to punish these race soldiers and laws to punish these beta male suburban commandos and these Karens who target racially profile and terrorize black people. No, that's the things that black people who are part of new black media want as part of our agenda. Those are some of the tangibles we want. And if we want to celebrate anything, let's celebrate getting reparations because that's the tangible that black people should be demanding for their all of this past discrimination and past racism and slavery we have suffered in this country and the present and ongoing racism and discrimination that denies many black men like myself access to the job market and an equal opportunity to go out here and achieve the so-called american dream how about you go out here and give us those tangibles that we want because these empty symbolic gestures we're past all of this stuff because we saw what you tried to do after the murder of George Floyd when people turned up in the streets and all of these companies, instead of them looking to go out here and rectify all of that past racism and discrimination, they came out here with these conciliatory symbolic gestures talking about we're donating money to deal with discrimination. No, you don't need to donate money to deal with diversity and inclusion and deal with so-called discrimination. You deal with discrimination by hiring qualified black men and make them part of your workforce. And that's how you deal with discrimination. Nor do you go out here and make empty symbolic gestures like taking Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben off a box of rice and a, box, a bag of flour. How about quick companies like Quaker hiring qualified black people? And moreover, how about the government cutting a check to all of those black people like myself who have lost years of their lives to current and ongoing discrimination as part of reparations and also pay us for the 
work that you got in this country as related to our ancestors who went out here and built this country and made it one of the most powerful nations in the world. All of that wealth that all of these Americans benefited from came from slave labor. They'll sit there and talk about immigrants built the country. No, immigrants didn't weren't able to build anything if it wasn't for the slaves laying the foundation for all of this infrastructure that is a part of America. Now, all of that was built by black Americans, foundational black Americans, and we deserve better than an empty symbolic gesture after we have made every effort to pull this country out of the fire ever since the days of the Civil War with the Emancipation Proclamation, where black soldiers fought in the Union to preserve this Union, and instead of them getting support, all we got was terrorized during the dark days of Jim Crow, and we practically saved these leftists as related to their agenda related to the orange man, and instead of them going out here and expressing gratitude, they continue to express contempt at black Americans by continuing to be present a paternalistic attitude towards us and continuing to go out here and offer empty symbolic gestures for the largest voting bloc that actually came out here in force to preserve your union once again, just like we did in the Civil War and just like we did during the days of Jim Crow. If it wasn't for black people, that America would have broken up a long time ago. But instead of expressing gratitude towards black people, what they do is undermine us at every turn when we try to get economic empowerment because these codependent racists fear competing with black Americans and they fear that if black Americans come to power, we'll become dominant. But you've got a handful of hand-picked tap dancing, buck dancing Negroes who are sitting there thinking, oh, we've accomplished something. This is our legacy. Well, your legacy is nothing more than garbage because an empty symbolic gesture means absolutely nothing at the end of the day because yes, you're celebrating your freedom, but the great irony is you're still a slave in the system because you're celebrating your freedom, but you're still going to the oppressor to go out here and go to his sales next year. And I guarantee you there will be some Juneteenth sales at retailers like Macy's and many others. And they, you'll see a whole sea of black folks running down to these stores looking to take their black dollars and spend more of them with these stores instead of using those dollars to, sell, to support black owned businesses like my SJS Direct imprint and help us go out here and empower other black people. And that's the sad part about this whole Juneteenth holiday. Here you are celebrating the freedom of black people, but you don't see black people taking actions to free themselves mentally, and you don't see them taking action to empower themselves by using their freedom to take black people to the next level. And that is the most troubling thing about this whole Juneteenth holiday. Yes, state and federal workers get a day off, but black people still don't get anything tangible. And it shows us how clueless many of us are. And as I see it, excuse me, politically retarded some people are because they're sitting here thinking, oh, we've achieved something, but you've achieved absolutely nothing. And all I see is some Arkham certified black folks thinking they are making progress when they're actually being set back and they're sitting here talking about freedom when they are just still showing how deeply oppressed they are because their their minds are still in a slave mind and this whole legislation again shows how sad we are as a group because we should be demanding a black agenda because we, our votes put Joe Biden in office, our votes gave the Democrats a majority, and our votes should be the ones, should be the, one, the reason why we should be made priority first, and getting us tangibles should be the priority as related to any sort of legislation and any sort of political policy. But instead of us being put first, we get put last, 
And all we have to show for all of those votes on November 3rd, 2020, is a lousy holiday. And that holiday is nothing more than a middle finger up at all of those black voters who went out here and cast ballots for Joe Biden in an effort to build back better. But all instead of us getting a foundation for building black America back, all we get is a brick thrown at our face. Now, this video is not going to be monetized, so I'm asking everybody to donate to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box or picking up some of my positive black fiction on the SJS Direct imprint on Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available on Kindle, East Steam No Good Deed. The Devil of Divas, here are some stick-up kids straight in this action-packed East Steam series comic. Get East Steam No Good Deed on Kindle for 99 cents today.